Yes, okay. wherever you want to look. Okay. <laughs> hey, this is Greg Meyer with Blue NC. I'm here with uh, Representative Pricey Harrison from Greensboro. Hey. And um, first question I wanted to ask you is, I know you were at a traction party the other night, so you obviously have a young uh, interest in young voters. What role do you think young voters might play in this year's election? Well, I think it's pretty critical. They, um, I've been reading about how the registration is uh, exponentially increased with young voters, and it's going to be a really vital part of the electorate in November, and I think it's going to be a process all around the country, I think, to get that young vote out. Good. <laughs> Oh, you I'm get sorry. to ask me a question. When you're done answering, you get to ask yeah, me. Yeah, so what's Traction doing about that? Well, Traction is going to do um, some really exciting things. Our theme for the election is going to be how low can you go? Um, and we're going to have limbo parties all over the state with uh, cash prizes and gas cards for prizes and things. And the idea is that we know everybody's excited about voting for Barack Obama, but we want to know how low can they go on the ballot? How many people below the presidential uh, candidates can they name and how many are they supporting? You get to mention the tickets, people down the ticket like yours. Um, another thing that we've talked about is immigration. What do you think Democrats really need to be doing to change the tide and the, the dialogue around immigration this year? Yeah, that's been a really unfortunate um, subject matter. I don't think the Democrats have engaged in very good leadership on this, particularly at the state level. I think it's uh, the Republicans have managed to um, to uh, use this as sort of uh, baiting their um, their base and, uh, and it's sort of hate mongering and fear mongering. And I'm really troubled by it. I think the Democrats could exercise some leadership and just say this is what we need to do. These people are here. We can't ship them all back. They're an invaluable member of the economy. And uh, we want to, you know, we want to keep uh, create a separate underclass. And uh, no, we don't. So Democrats need to get on board in leadership. I think and comprehensive immigration reform and at the state level do what they can to help these folks out and more passionately the Republicans need to be training. Um, it's uh, curious how big a piece of that is is traction. So. Um, Traction hasn't really specifically uh, addressed issues like that. We're, we're, um, we're not going to pick individual issues to work on, but we do uh, focus on a large you know, variety of issues that would be interest, of interest to young voters. One of the things that I'm going to try and do before the election is some traction event related to um, immigration issues. I'm thinking it might be a taqueria tour of Durham. We might go hit two or three taquerias and have track some different types of tacos and uh, talk a little bit about the, the issue. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, last question for you. Uh, this is one that was suggested to me by uh, Susan Tenori of Carborough, and she wanted to know if you could ask anything of our next president and have that wish be fulfilled, what would it be? I would, uh, I would really want strong leadership on climate change. I'd want strong aggressive leadership on climate change. I think he's proposed it. 80 percent reduction from 1999 levels about 20. 2050 and strong renewable energy requirements. And I think he's going to engage in the leadership on that, but I really do want that promise to be when he gets into the White House. Granted, he has to work with the Congress is a little more skeptical than uh, and a little more involved in special interests, but I, I'm hopeful that uh, he can follow through on that. I, um, I'm just, uh, I've always been amazed that our generation hasn't felt the urgency that yours has, and I've been curious um, how big of an issue that is. Your peers. Oh, it's huge. I, I think it's an issue where there's a large deal of consensus with young people and um, something that we talk about all the time and talk about very comfortably. And uh, I think that the challenge will be how do we integrate that with other issues like the economy? Um, how do we integrate that with uh, talking about the war and defense funding and, and all kinds of things? Because uh, I think we see it as one of the fundamental issues, one of the things at the base of the mm -hmm. party platform rather than one of the auxiliary things. Sure. So we'll see over time how it gets, uh, how it gets integrated. It seems to affect everything. So, Absolutely. I mean, it, it would be important. So. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you, Preston. Sure, sure. Thank you.